guys, I'm Danny West, and you are back for another episode of The Soapbox, your patient education station. And today we are working our way up the leg and chatting a little bit about the hip. Um, so again, the hip is going to be like a whole series in and of itself. There's so much to talk about with the hip. But one of the really simple things that we did in physio class um, this past week was chat a little bit about range of motion and especially range of motion with external rotation. So that stretch where you would cross your ankle over the knee and see how far that knee can fall out. So if you find you're a little restricted with this one, um, again, it'll either be in seated or you might have seen the lying down version of this. So cross ankle over knee, you can gently push the knee out. Some people also grab the leg and push that knee open with the elbow. But a lot of people are stuck about here, so they don't actually have this external rotation of the hip. So kind of a quick and easy self-massage um, technique to try to get that hip to open up in that direction is using a tennis ball. There's two spots um, I like to focus on when it comes to trying to increase external rotation. The first one is TFL. So TFL is the little muscular part of the IT band. So we chatted a little bit um, a couple episodes ago about how to release your IT band with the band. Um, the other one that kind of goes hand in hand if you do have a tight IT band is this TFL. It's hard to kind of landmark, but I'll try to walk you through it as best I can. So basically you're gonna find your hip bones and you slide kind of off an inch and down an inch. And it's this little kind of ooh, tender, gushy bit. Not quite on the side, but just more a little bit in front of the hip. I'm gonna find it lying down. We're gonna release that with the tennis ball. That is called your TFL or your tensor fascia lata. That's the little muscular part that's just up top here that is continuous with the IT band. The second one we're gonna release is glute med and more the anterior fibers of glute med. So glute med has two kind of types of fibers. Kind of starts here, some kind of go more in the front and some, the posterior fibers stick more to the back of the hip. This one is more for the ones that come around the front, kind of like TFL. So with glute med, the best way to landmark this is if you had your hands on your hips, kind of where my thumbs sit on my upper glute, that's kind of glute med. Okay. That's what we're going to find at the tennis ball, not the center of the butt, although that is coming soon to a soapbox near you, is what is in the center of the glute. Um, but it's more kind of up top on the side. Okay, so we're going to do those two. So you lay down on your back. I'll actually lift this up a little bit. First, we're going to do TFL. So easiest way is with the knees bent. Find the hip bones, again slide out an inch and down an inch, and it's kind of right in this little gutter. And it's a little tender on me too. So I'm going to take the tennis ball, I'm just going to line it up to where I think that is. And then I'm going to come to lay on my side. And you kind of almost want to tip the hips forward a little bit. And then try to relax. <laughs> But if you're on the right spot, ugh, um, it'll be quite intense. Don't kill yourself with this. So a lot of people think uh, no pain, no gain. Well, we're not actually going to be very good at releasing it if we're tense. So I actually just want you to try to like take a few deep breaths. If it's too intense, you can kind of let off your pressure a bit by rocking back on the hips, just changing the angle. But Try to get it so it's right on the sweet spot, and then I want you to picture your hip kind of just melting over that tennis ball. Now, there's no set amount of seconds for this, so it's not like, oh, 30 seconds, you're good to go. It's going to be different per person. What I want you to try to notice is when does the intensity start to dissipate? That's a sign that muscle is starting to let go, and that's going to be different for everyone. That's what you're going to wait for. Then, I'm going to come off the ball. The second one is that glute knee. So again, if I have my hands on my hips, kind of where my thumb is, on my upper glute, just off to the side, I'm going to put the tennis 
fistful there. And now this is where we want to kind of tip the hips towards the tennis ball a bit. Okay? And again, try to like find that sweet spot. When you've found it, you can, this is optional, you can let the knee fall open and closed. And so maybe I would do about 10 of those. And again, it's, uh, it's talking to me a little bit. Or if that's too intense, you can just kind of find what's comfortable here. And again, just kind of picture the spot that's on the tennis ball, just kind of melting over the ball. You're waiting until it feels like it's dissipating, okay? Couple deep breaths. And then once you're done that, just take the ball out. And this is where you retest. So now, ankle over knee, and just notice how it really helps to open up the hip in external rotation. Again, if the lying down one isn't as accessible for you, you want to be able to do this at work or something. Sitting up nice and tall, ankle over knee, stick the butt out, and just gently kind of open up that knee. And you'll notice after just doing those two little tennis ball points, the knee starts to just fall out a little easier. Okay? Um, again, check both sides. Do you notice this one now for me sits higher? You can kind of see the dot on my knee in relation to the bed. It's a little stiffer versus this one opens up more. We want to always shoot for symmetry. So we want to try to get them even Steven. So if you have one side that seems a little more restricted than the other, um, maybe start with that side. You don't need to do this all the time, maybe once a day. Um, and then again, maybe try that band for the IT band. Because again, those two kind of connect fascially with the IT band. Okay, but start with those two tennis ball spots. That was TFL, tensor fascia lata, and the anterior fibers of glute med. Okay, again, the buck doesn't stop here. It's not about just releasing muscles. They also should be paired with a strengthener. Okay, because usually what is tight is weak. So tune in in a couple weeks as we continue our conversation about the hip. We're gonna give um, kind of my quick go-tos for how do we strengthen glute med and why do we care? Why is that important, okay? So see you in a couple weeks and um, happy tennis balling. Thanks guys.